Welcome to TLH Patterns. In this video, I'm going to share with you the pattern to make an oval shaped storage basket using the basket weave stitch. This basket measures about 12 inches long and 7 inches wide and has a height of 7 inches. I made this basket holding together two strands of uh, DK weight or uh, category 3 yarn um, and a 5 mm crochet hook. I used about 600 meters of yarn. You can also use a single strand of a heavier yarn. First make a slip knot and then work 22 chains. If you are using any other yarn uh, then always choose a hook size that is one size smaller than the size that is suggested for that particular yarn uh, because uh, by this way you can uh, make the basket uh, stay stiff instead of uh, being floppy okay now we'll start the first round make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and uh, work single crochets in uh, rest of the chains except the last Okay, now work 3 single crochets in the last chain. Then we'll start working on the other side of the foundation chains. But uh, before that, we will place markers. Leave the 3 stitches that you worked in the last chain and then place a marker in the next stitch and also place a marker in the second stitch at the beginning. You work the first stitch in the second chain from hook, leave that and place a marker in the next stitch. Now if you count the stitches from this marker to the next, you will have 19 stitches. After this you have the 3 stitches that you worked in the last chain and then work single crochet in the next 19 chains on the other side. Uh, place a marker in the first stitch and another marker in the 19th stitch. So this is the first one. I work 19 single crochets on uh, this side and I'll place a marker in the 19th stitch. Then into the next chain work 2 single crochets. This is the end of round 1. So if you count you will have 19 stitches. Uh, from one marker to the other on both the sides and in between you will have three stitches at both the ends So totally in this round you will have 44 stitches now join the last stitch with a slip stitch to the first stitch We'll start the second round with uh, chain one Then work two single crochets in the first stitch from this round, we'll start increasing the stitches and then work single crochet in uh, the next 19 stitches starting from uh, the marked stitch to the next marked stitch. Work one single crochet in uh, each stitch.
after the marker you have three stitches work two single crochets in each stitch so you will be making increases in every round only in uh, these stitches between the markers at the two ends so three stitches here and three stitches on the other side you will be working your increases only in these stitches Then work single crochet in each of the next 19 stitches from uh, this marker to the next. Okay, this is the 19th stitch then you have uh, two stitches left work two single crochet in each of these two stitches you have already worked uh, two single crochets in the first stitch of this round so that makes three stitches on this side now you will make a slip stitch in the first stitch Totally we have increased 6 stitches in this round and the number of stitches in round 2 will be 50. Now we'll start the next round with a chain 1 and work a single crochet in the first stitch. And then work 2 single crochets in the next stitch. In this round we'll make an increase in alternate stitches. And then we'll work 1 single crochet in each stitch from this marker to the next that will be 19 single crochets okay now we'll make the increases work one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch repeat this two more times one in the next stitch then two in the next again one in the next stitch and two in the next so you have increased three stitches on uh, the side single crochet in the next 19 stitches then increase two stitches on this side single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch once again single crochet in the next stitch and two in the next we have already made an increase at the beginning so now join with a slip stitch in the first stitch six stitches increased in this round so there will be 56 stitches in this round then start the next round with chain one single crochet in uh, two stitches followed by two single crochet in the next stitch one stitch increased and then work single crochet in each of the next 19 stitches Now we'll make the increases. Work single crochet in the next two stitches. Then two single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this two more times.
single crochet in the next 19 stitches then single crochet in two stitches two single crochet in the next stitch twice then make a slip stitch in the first stitch to join be careful where you're joining the chain one that you make at the beginning will appear as a stitch do not join there join in the first single crochet you will have 62 stitches in this round chain one and start the next round here i'm going to work two single crochets in the first stitch followed by single crochet in the next three stitches in every alternate round change the position where you are uh, making the increase so that uh, you don't get these sharp edges so in this round i started with an increase followed by single crochet in three stitches and in the next round i'll start with a single crochet in four stitches followed by an increase so in this way the corners will be smooth So after working single crochet in 19 stitches I'll make the increase on this side two single crochet in the next stitch followed by single crochet in the next three stitches this will be repeated two more times complete the rest of the round now similarly work six more rounds of increase that is round 11 in round 11 you will have 104 stitches and in round 12 work single crochet in each stitch around so by the end of round 12 you will have completed the base of the bag with 104 stitches now we'll start building the body of the bag chain one and uh, turn so now the wrong side will be outside the bag at the bottom this chain one will not count as a stitch work double crochet in the back loop of each stitch around so in each stitch you will have two loops one that is towards you and one away from you the loop that is away from you is called the back loop and you will work only into the back loop so work a double crochet in the back loop of each stitch around you're working double crochet in the back loop of each stitch and you will have 104 double crochet stitches in this round Finish the round by working a slip stitch in the first double crochet to join. So you can see the right side will be the inside of the bag and the wrong side will be outside the bag. 
now we'll start the basket weave pattern chain one this will not count as a stitch work front post double crochet in the first four stitches so to make the front post double crochet yarn over take the hook around the stitch so insert the hook um, from front to back of the stitch and then bring it to the front again and then yarn over and uh, pull up a loop through the stitch and then yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over and pull through two loops this is a front post double crochet stitch again yarn over insert the hook from front to back of the stitch and then bring it to the front the stitch will be in front of the hook and then yarn over pull up a loop through the stitch then yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over and pull through two loops work front post double crochet in the next two stitches so totally you will be making four front post double crochet stitches then in the next four stitches work back post double crochet to make the back post double crochet yarn over hook and then bring the hook from back to front of the stitch and then take the hook again to the back of the stitch and then yarn over pull up a loop through the stitch yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over and pull through two loops this is called the back post double crochet stitch once again yarn over insert hook from back to front and then take it to the back again and then yarn over and uh, pull up a loop through the stitch yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over and pull through two loops work two more back post double crochet stitches So these are the 8 stitches that you will be repeating throughout this round. 4 front post double crochet stitches and 4 back post double crochet stitches. So here I am working front post double crochet stitches in the next 4 stitches. Now work back post double crochet in the next 4 stitches. Repeat this around. I have completed this round. Join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain 1. This is round 15. This is also the same as the previous round. You will work front post double crochet in 4 stitches then uh, back post double crochet in the next four stitches repeat this around so 
so i worked four front post double crochet in the four front post double crochet stitch of the previous round now in the next four back post double crochet stitches i'm going to work four back post double crochet stitches repeat this around working front post double crochet in each uh, front post double crochet stitch and uh, back post double crochet in each back post double crochet stitch at the end of the round join with the slip stitch to the first stitch then chain one We'll start round 16. In this round, you're going to work back post double crochet in each front post double crochet stitch and the front post double crochet in each back post double crochet stitch. So, in the first four front post double crochet stitches, we're going to work back post double crochet stitches. Then in the next four back post double crochet stitches, work front post double crochet stitches. Then work back post double crochet in the next four front post double crochet stitches. Repeat this around. At the end of the round, join with the slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain 1. And uh, the next round is also the same as the previous round. Here also you will work back post double crochet in the first 4 back post double crochet stitches. And then front post double crochet in the next 4 front post double crochet stitches so these are the four rounds that will be repeated throughout round uh, 14 15 16 and 17 Repeat the rounds as many times as you want. I made it about uh, 6 inches high. Then we'll work the edging. Chain 1 and uh, work single crochet in uh, each stitch around. 
uh, work three rounds of single crochet in total. I work three rounds of uh, single crochet and uh, finally work one round of slip stitch in uh, each stitch around. The basket is complete. Now we will make uh, two small handles. To make the handles, again I am using two strands of yarn, uh, make 18 chains. Then work single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in the rest of the chains across. And repeat one more row of uh, single crochet, that's it. Make two and sew the handles to both the ends of the basket. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this pattern. Return pattern is available in my blog thelazyhobbyhopper.blogspot.com